And welcome once again to AL.com's fantasy football coverage. That's hashtag ALFF. Joined as always by resident fantasy football expert Nick Birdsong. I'm Alex Walsh. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I had my draft on Saturday, so we better talk about it. Let's talk about yours first, though. Uh, I know you just had your draft recently. Definitely. Tell me about your strategy and, and what you did and, and what folks might be able to learn from you, resident expert. Well, first, I'm a creature of habit, and I know usually everybody wants to go running back first. Sure. So, obviously, in my league, first two players off the draft were uh, off the draft board was LaShawn McCoy yep. and Jamal Charles. Yep. I knew people would be hunting running backs, but me being the guy that I am, I went into the quarterback. I took Peyton Manning. Sure. I figured that's going to be consistent points throughout the season. You know, it's funny because in this very video segment, I said Peyton Manning, maybe not your best first round pick. I'm going to go with Peyton Manning as a bust. <laughs> you don't seem to care what I think, and that's all right. <laughs> Let's talk wide receiver, though, because I looked at your roster, and I want to talk about your best pick, what I think is your best pick, and what I think is your worst pick. And I think your best pick, let's be positive first. You got Michael Floyd on your team. I love that. Big athletic dude, young guy, tons of upside. That, got, that team's going to have to score a lot of points. Uh, what were you thinking when you got Michael Floyd? Well, I was taking uh, your advice, but also kind of looked him up statistically. Guy had 1,000 yards, uh, more than 50 receptions. I, I figure he's going to get a lot of targets, and uh, I, I like his game. Yeah, he's a big guy. Uh, let's talk about Deshaun Jackson, because I'm concerned that with Pierre Garcon there needing to eat, RG3, I don't know about the health there. I don't know what your expectation is, but I'm a little concerned for you that if you're relying on Deshaun Jackson, that might be scary. What do you think? It definitely was one of the bigger risks that I took in the draft. Obviously, wide receivers were going off the board. Some of you guys may have 12-team drafts like I did. I figured Deshaun put up great numbers last year, and he's still going to get open. So I figured I'd go ahead and take a risk on So who's your second, third option behind him if he doesn't work out? Well, obviously, I have Michael Floyd, but I also have Vincent Jackson on my roster who put up big numbers. I'm a Tampa guy, so I needed a hometown guy. But also 1,200 yards receiving gets down the field. Um, and hopefully, he can get into the end zone a little bit more this year. On the waiver wire, if Deshaun doesn't work out, who might you be looking for? What kind of team what kind of player I'm probably I have a flex um, in this year's league so I'll probably be looking to, to fill some uh, some wide receiver positions and also some some running backs I think I'm gonna have to play that by ear good deal